So hey guys, welcome back. This, it's obviously quite a different intro to the videos that I've been posting. I was on today and I was thinking I should actually do a current daily vlog. Everything I post on my channel is old events because I go on a trip, shoot it all, and then afterwards I edit everything and post it. So I thought I would slot this video in as a current video, current vlog. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully it gives you a bit of an insight and um, a bit of an idea about me and what I do. And also, just before you go, if you do like this video, if you do enjoy it, and if you do want to see more, you know what I'm going to say. Hit that subscribe button. Feel free to leave a comment, or if you don't even want to do that, just hit the like button. Whatever you feel like. Enjoy the video. Thank you. Good morning guys, how are you this morning? How's it going? So I thought today I would give you a daily vlog on my life in Bondi, in Sydney, what I do, what my job is, and just kind of like a, a, a usual day for me. It's 8 a.m. here in Sydney, currently cooking breakfast. My eggs are cooking, my coffee's brewing. Today I'm working from home. What I'm gonna do is have my breakfast, go down to the beach for a swim, and then I'll come back. I will set up my desk here with my laptop. It's a beautiful day. I usually only vlog when I travel, so I thought I'd start getting into the routine of vlogging while I'm actually just doing my day-to-day -day stuff. Giving you a bit more of an insight to my life and what I do, and my lifestyle. So on that note, let's go get some breakfast. Coffee and eggs. Monday morning here in Bondi. We're going for a swim. Bondi is usually quite a busy place on the weekend. But midweek, especially Monday morning, everyone's going to work and you get the place to yourself. It's only a five minute walk from where I live. Already about 25. Not a cloud in the sky. And not start the day in any better way. <laughs> Oh my god, that was amazing. Sun shining. Time to get a coffee. Benefits of working from home, you can work on your own time schedule, set up your office hours around you, which gives you more flexibility. Most people are usually tied to an office. If you want to move from a, an office-based job to working from home, I would recommend reading the book by Tim Ferriss called The 4-Hour Workweek. In that book, it helps you negotiate a flexible working arrangement with your employer, which gives you the liberation, the flexibility to have more enjoyment and get more enjoyment out of your life. Thankfully, I was able to negotiate that into my contract whenever I first started, which now gives me the, the freedom and the liberation to work from home when I want, especially on days like this when it's beautiful and sunny and you know you want to make the most of it. You know, swim in the morning, have a coffee in the afternoon and not sit in traffic all day. You know, I'd be sitting in traffic right now if it wasn't for the case that I could work from home. I still have to do a lot of work though, so I'll be pretty busy today. Doesn't stop you from getting a bit of enjoyment out of your life, especially on a Monday morning like this. Beautiful. I'm able to order here, man, or I just come inside? I'm not going to PC, so I can have <laughs> Yeah, take away. Sugar? No sugar, thanks. How's your day going? Ah, oh, beautiful day, man. I know. Oh, That's fantastic, isn't it? Right. You gonna get time for a swim? Uh, I'm not a big fan of swim though. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel bad, unfortunately. I'm pretty scared of that shark attack, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sharks and Bondi. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot for that, mate. Thank you, buddy. Oh, was that not mine, was it? <laughs> was that not mine? I don't know. Start to the car, get the laptop, and we'll get started for the day. Got a 11 a.m. sales call kids in school for the day. What lucky kids they are to have this weather and to be playing outside. Whenever I was growing up it was you wouldn't go out and play because it was raining all day. Such lucky kids aren't they? I guess my next vlog I can summarize the ideas on 
how to negotiate that arrangement with your employer. How to just basically ask for a working from home flexible arrangement. And you don't ask for all at once, you ask for maybe one day a week, half day per week, where you ask can you work from home. And then essentially what you do is you show them how much more productive you are when you do work from home. You measure the results and show them that this half day that I worked on at Friday from home, I actually got X amount done compared to being in the office, being distracted by other employees, going for coffee, going for lunches. You're able to work from home and without all these distractions, get more done. The strategy that you need to use with your employer. So that's a brief summary on it. I'm just back home now. We'll get back inside, get the desk set up. We're back in the den. We're going to set this desk up. We're going to crack the window open. We're going to open the blinds, get some air and get some light in here. And then we're going to set up the home office for the day. Let's get some work done. All right, so we just set up, logged on. Laptop set up, screen, got my coffee, wireless mouse, and some nice air freshener. It's a bit stuffy when you're inside all day. Yeah, so quickly update you on what's come through. So on Friday, I booked my trip to Kuala Lumpur. I have to go to Kuala Lumpur for some training from the 23rd to the 25th of May. However, I booked a flight from the 18th. I fly to Indonesia on the same night, and then I'm in Indonesia from 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd. And then I fly back to Kuala Lumpur on the 22nd. It's just in time for my training. So those four days that I fly to Indonesia, I'm actually booking a trek in the jungle, backpacking and trekking through the jungle with orangutans. Pretty excited about that. I'll give you more information once everything's booked. That's the first thing that I've done this morning, just clarified everything. Back to get some real work done. All right guys, let's give it a half one here and we're getting a bit of a break. We'll get back down, time for a swim. Cut to the B-roll. Here. These are the North Bondi rocks and over there you've got Bondi Beach. This is a pretty typical day for me in terms of getting up, going for a swim, getting about four hours work done, then taking an hour's lunch, grabbing a quick bite to eat and then back to the, the home office. Yeah, hopefully today's vlog is just a nice, nice little intro into my sort of daily life, what I'm doing when I'm not traveling, where I live and kind of the things that I get up to. But this is pretty much it. It's not too bad. Let's get back to the home office. Um, I'll walk back down. It's a five, ten minute walk. Back to the office, back to a bit more work for the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna get in, get changed, and then make my way to the gym. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see me or not, because it's the street, it's black at night. Hey guys, so that's the gym finished up. My GoPro died so earlier on when I was driving, when I was coming down to the gym. All right guys, so thank you very much for stopping by and watching this daily vlog. That's just a quick summary of my day, what I get up to, what it's like to work from home. Um, yeah, just a bit more of an insight into what I do here in Sydney. And it's 1 a.m. now, I'm absolutely exhausted. If you liked the video, please like, comment, and if you really want to hit that subscribe button, I really appreciate it. If you're new to this channel and you like my content, yeah, please subscribe. Um, I've got a lot more coming up. I've got a lot more videos of Japan, I've got some stuff of the States, and I'm going to Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, as you heard in today's video, in a couple of weeks. Leave a comment, tell me what you think, um, it's time for bed, and my eyes are falling, my eyes are closing together. Um, so good night guys, thanks again, good night. It's only one stop away, so I'll just go down and just So this is what we're getting exchanged, the JR Japan Rail Pass. That'll get me unlimited travel across all of Japan for the next two weeks.